Sirius XM Marine is excited to introduce compatibility with the latest Simrad NSX product line. With the latest software update from Simrad installed, all Simrad NSX multifunction displays can now utilize all Sirius XM Marine services. In this video, we will be showing how to access Sirius XM fish mapping information on the new Simrad NSX Ultrawide MFD. Starting from the chart screen, to subscribe to Sirius XM, you will first need to locate the Sirius XM radio ID number. This is done by going to the home screen, then selecting settings from the upper left. From the settings menu on the left, select boat network, then devices from the list on the right. If the WM4 receiver is connected, Sirius XM will be displayed. From the drop down, select show details. Here you will find pertinent information, including the plan subscribed to, radio ID number, and signal strength. The radio ID is the number Sirius XM requires to set up a subscription on the receiver. Once a subscription has been established, the data layers can be displayed on the chart page. To show Sirius XM layers, tap anywhere on the chart. The menu icon will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tap the icon to open the chart settings menu. Located in this menu will be Sirius XM weather and Sirius XM fish mapping selections. Checking the box to the left will turn pre-selected data layers off and on. From this page, you can quickly toggle between weather and fish mapping layers. You cannot view both weather and fish mapping at the same time. To view fish mapping information, return to the chart screen and tap on screen to reveal the menu. The menu icon will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Select the menu, then Sirius XM fish mapping. Make sure the Show on Chart is toggled to the right to display layers. From this page, you can access fish mapping layers. Select to show a legend on screen to identify fish mapping layer details. Animate weed line information to show movement of weed lines over the past three days. And lastly, data status will identify the times when the data was updated and how many minutes ago it was received on board. To select any of the various fish mapping layers you would like displayed, tap the fish mapping selection right arrow to show the various layer choices. Any combination up to three layers can be shown simultaneously. If three layers are selected, a prompt to deselect all layers will appear. You can deselect all or deselect individually. Plankton contours shows plankton concentrations in milligrams per cubic meter, defined by a green contour line with the concentration shown along the line. Where concentrations are heavier, the color will be a darker shade of green. Plankton fronts, areas where sea conditions are causing plankton to build up. These green contour lines are numbered two through four. A number three or four indicates the stronger fronts that are more likely to have increased bait fish activity. SST fronts indicates where the most productive surface temperature breaks are occurring. These red contour lines are numbered one through four. The number four indicating the strongest changing areas that are more likely to have increased bait fish activity. SST contours provide red contour lines that show the temperature of surface water in two degree increments. The right arrow provides access to change the temperature range where contour lines are shown. This allows for lines only to appear where the water is the desired temperature for the species desired. 30M subtemp places blue contour lines on screen that denote temperature 30 meters below the surface of the water. 
These can be useful for finding thermoclines when no surface temperature breaks can be found. The right arrow provides access to change the temperature range so that contour lines will appear only where desired temperatures are found. Height anomaly displays gold lines that indicate where upwellings and downwellings are occurring. Along the line will be a measurement in inches or centimeters, depending on your MFD setting. These show if the sea height is above or below average. The right arrow provides access to change the range that contour lines will appear. Weed lines indicates where patches or lines of sargassum have been spotted by satellite beyond 25 miles from shore. By tapping a patch area, you can bring up more information about the location. Fishing recommendations shows areas where the six species monitored are more likely to be found. The right arrow allows the six types to be selected or deselected as desired. As stated previously, multiple fish mapping layers can be combined to provide a more complete image of where the more productive areas are likely to be. This concludes the overview of the SiriusXM fish mapping available on the NSX platform. If you are interested in accessing SiriusXM weather information, please look for the weather video in this series. Also, check out our video library for content about the fish mapping app for your smart devices, which is included for free when you have subscribed using your boat's MFD. If you have any questions or need more detailed information on a particular item, please direct them to fish.mapping at SiriusXM.com. Thank you.